Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Moses' first YOLO session. I am Michael. I am Chris. Chris here is going to play Zombie U. Yeah. Now, Chris, other than the coolest hashtag of all time, what do we mean by YOLO? Well, a YOLO session is um, a session where we play a game and we only use one life. If we lose one life, it's game over, period. So this is a true hardcore survival mode. Yes, that's right. Awesome. How long do you think you're going to go? I'm aiming for at least an hour, but you never know in this game. You could, you know, you could turn a corner and there's a zombie there and he'll uh, one hit kill you. So. I've got money on five minutes. So. <laughs> five minutes? Okay, let's, let's see if I can make it through the uh, intro. And um, after that... And the world yeah, we'll see uh, how it goes. Okay, now I know you've played this before. Do you have to play this? Th this is the special survival mode actually built into the game. Yes. Uh, when you die, you're dead. It's not the normal campaign mode where you, mm -hmm. you come back. Do you, does that, is that unlocked from the beginning as soon as you put the disc in, or did you have to unlock that by playing? No, it's uh, in this game, it's, uh, it's available right from the start. Um, and I think that says a lot about the game. That's Yeah, so this is really one of those... Dark Souls type of uh, games where it, it really enjoys um, teasing or even being cruel to the player, as it were. So yeah, this is one of those unforgiving games. <clears throat> uh, the intro is a very good example of that because um, it really throws you right into it. As you see here, uh, you're this uh, survivor and there's of course the usual zombie apocalypse and the game starts in like a few seconds and you have to run away from the zombie orb controlled by hal yes exactly well hal is actually um, some guy who apparently survived uh, the zombie apocalypse up until now he's called the, the prepper he's always prepared and he wants to prepare you and I want to prepare you for the zombie apocalypse. Now I know you played this before. Uh, is this a bad time to ask you questions? Yes, it is a very bad time. To so ask if I start asking you questions, I might win my five minute bet. <laughs> it's very likely. I have to. Right now I'm just running. Uh, Run! You should uh, use your left stick to run. Well, while Chris is running for his life, I would like to take a moment to apologize for the audio quality here. Um, we got the crap mics today. We're very low tech. Yes. We, we spent a long time trying to make this sound better. And uh, we apologize. But we knew we had to record this video. We couldn't sit around forever to record it because you only live once, and we have to do that. What, 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 what is the encouragement of YOLO? Is it you only live once, so you should just do stupid things? That's probably it, yeah. Um, you only have one life, so you should throw it away. Yeah. I'm completely I'm, stuck here, because it's really dark in here. Yeah, I was just going to say, I can't see anything. Oh, you have a flashlight. I have a flashlight. So turn it on! <laughs> you know this game. This isn't your first time. Oh, no. It really helps. <clears throat> Apparently, my uh, there was an icon on my gamepad was flashing, but I wasn't looking at my gamepad. Zombie, 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 zombie. Leave alone. There we go. So that's how the game starts. You are. That's not technically a death. No, it's not a death at all. Oh, because you, you're still the same character. Yes, I actually survived. You you can die in this. Uh, in the intro, and then you wake up as a different survivor, <laughs> which uh, has happened. Your first time? Uh, no. It's another time you're goofing around. Yes. Okay, so now we wake up in. Oh, you're a lifeguard. Safe room. Is the is the first character always um, a random? Every character is random. 
Yeah. It's randomly generated? It's never like everybody starts with the same guy. Everybody starts with Harvey. What's his name? Uh, I thought it I thought it was, but apparently not. Because I, I don't remember this guy. What does it say from the, the dev team back there? Oh, it says they're working on a patch. Uh, more details soon. But I, I wouldn't know what they're patching. It's a, I, I remember that they put some message in here somewhere from when I watched you play it before. It's kind of an interesting way to put out messages for uh, players. Yeah. It's, uh, it kind of pulls you out of the game. Yeah. In a way, but I have to say it's, it's only in this place. Sometimes you see um, um, some kind of online leaderboard spray painted on a wall. But um, other than that, it, it, you don't really see them uh, often. So they really try to keep it to the minimum, I think. Okay. Let there be light. So you, you never s you um, get all your instructions from the prepper, but you never see his face. Now, there is an actual ending to the campaign, correct? That is correct. And actually, and I have... You, oh, sorry? I have yet to see it. Okay. Um, bit of a spoiler alert, maybe, but um, once you get to the end, um, you, you get, of course, the credits. And after the credits, there's a final sequence. Uh, you have to run uh, to safety. But I did not manage that part, so I got the bad ending. So you got the credit. So you, in one way, you did actually complete the game. I did complete the game, but I didn't see the the true proper ending. So. Okay. Do you do you actually know what the true proper ending is? Don't don't no. say it. Maybe, but... I don't know. Okay. So speculation. Do you think that you get to see the prepper? Um, well, actually, you do see him at the end. Oh, you do already see him. Doing the bad ending. Okay. So, yeah. Does he still have full confidence in the mission, Chris, and he wants to help? Probably. <laughs> so, I just picked up my uh, bug out bag. I'm oh, sorry. Bob. Your bug out bag? Or sorry, John. John bug out John's bag. bug out bag. Mr. <laughs> Doe. It's, it's now mine. It's what he would have wanted. <laughs> he wanted me to bash his head in. Um, you need a hammer. Yeah, apparently. But you get a hammer later on. Oh, uh, right now I'm instructed on the gamepad to um, open my backpack with a bob. I'll watch your back, dude. It's cool, bro. You're cool. Nothing's coming. And the prepper is telling me. Uh, uh, Now that girl logo on the on the cricket bat. That's actually an unlockable through Uplay. I don't know if you've uh, heard of Uplay. Me? Yeah. Yes, I know Uplay. Okay. Well, what type of idiot do you think I am? <laughs> well, the kind of no, idiot who doesn't know you. Uplay. But maybe some of our wonderful non-idiots right. viewers don't know Uplay. So well. I'll explain it just a bit. Uh, Uplay is basically a service by um, Ubisoft. Ubisoft. And if you play a game like Assassin's Creed or this one's on view, um, you can unlock certain achievements by which you unlock points. You can then use those points for in-game unlockables, such as this wonderful cricket bat that you have right. here with the uh, lovely lady. I actually like uh, you play. I, I think it's an acceptable yeah. um, overlay. It, it's become a little annoying on the PC because you have to actually install it and then you're trying to run a game from Steam and then it wants to run Uplay and then when Uplay comes up then you have to run your game. It's kind of an extra hassle. Right. But um, the general idea, and I remember when I was using it on the PS3 for the first time, which I think was for Assassin's Creed 2, mm -hmm. um, it's just nice. It, it's, just, it's, it's an extra overlay. You don't really see it. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think it's an acceptable way to get bonuses in games. Yeah, it's it's a nice little extra, you know. For and and maybe the best part is like, you you get you get those points from there. There's only four achievements for every game, 
Mm-hmm. Um, but you don't have to use those points on that game. Like, I play Assassin's Creed 2, I don't really like the bonuses that they're giving that I can buy with the points. So I can save those points and I'll use them for Brotherhood or uh, yeah. this game, the Zombie U, whatever game we're playing. Yeah. Actually, I did use my points for that I earned with, I think, Assassin's Creed Revelations. And I used them on this game to get this cricket bat, actually. Is there, so what else did you buy? Do you have anything else? Uh, well, there's a different print for my um, for my cricket bat, which has the Union Jack on it. And there's a different punk design for it as well. Cool. Are those all separate? Files? No, these are, you, you it's, can, it's one package? You, yeah, you get all of those uh, for one. Now, I thought for your sake, uh, to change subject a bit, we should point out to anyone who's ever played this before or doesn't actually know, you're not just some psychotic maniac who goes around hitting <laughs> people in the head for fun. Well, you have to do that in the game, right? Yes. Um, well, actually, it's, um, it's funny because um, when you start hitting people, some of them get really into it. Like, you can hear your character starting to enjoy <laughs> Uh, bashing the heads in. And when you hear that, do you hear that from the, um, the, the, I forget the name of the, the game pad? The game pad? Or do you hear that from the TV? Um, you hear it from the TV. Oh, you okay. hear your own character. You hear, I think, everything that's in game, you hear that from the TV. The only things you hear from your game pad are actually the, the prepper who's telling you stuff, so you guys yeah. may not hear it actually. Uh, if you're listening, listening to this video. Um, actually, I think we should have turned on the uh, subtitles for the people at home. Yeah, let's put those on now. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, this thing is sound options. Uh, yeah, that's a shame. I guess actually it's not going to come through. Uh, yeah. I was thinking it would. Yeah, I, I didn't think that through. I, I like that this guy... Um, I'm not a master on British accents, but he really sounds like... He was probably, uh, I don't want to say a thug, but kind of a, maybe a light hooligan guy. Like, he's not a friendly guy. He's not like some nerd who, because I know this, that he sounds like some guy you'd meet up down at the pub. <laughs> yeah, he sounds uh, authentic, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty good casting. He's the only voice in the game? Well, I get, no, you hear the voices of your characters who get... Yeah, psychotic. Yeah, thing. but that's just really just the moaning. Um, there are a few other characters, but it's really not more than a handful. They uh, give you uh, assignments as well, just like the proper ones. But I have to say, the story is really not the strong point of this game. It's uh, typical zombie apocalypse stuff and some um, dark prophecies from the, from the Dark Ages. Um, but, like Nostradamus? Yeah, kind of like him, but uh, this guy called John D, which apparently used to be an advisor to one of the queens of England. Oh, I forgot which one. This sounds familiar. Uh, yeah. I, I know it's from something else. Yeah, yeah, but he was a real historical figure, and apparently he foresaw this uh, zombie apocalypse. But he called it something else, something like the Black Plague. Um, but plot-wise, doesn't really get any deeper than that. The real draw for this game is this real survival horror. Yes, yeah, definitely. Like the, the main draws are the difficulty, the tension, the horror, and it, it succeeds pretty well in that, in that regard. You can still tell... Every time I see this, I think of Counter-Strike. I feel like he's Counter-Strike? Just... I think of James Bond. It's yeah, those... oh, also that, yeah. But Especially just... since it says... Uh, Bond Street and the <laughs> streets. <clears throat> uh, what was I saying before? I was saying something. Oh yes, um, the gameplay. Oh yeah, you can tell it's. Um, you can tell it's a launch game for the Wii U because some of the uh, edges are a bit rough. Like the graphics are not what you'd call top notch. But I mean. Uh, as you can see, it looks acceptable. But it's probably the best 
looking uh, in a high res realistic point, uh, sense the best looking Nintendo game ever. Yeah, probably, but I mean, but well, it's not a lot to compare it to at this point. Yeah, I guess I guess maybe I haven't really seen Black Ops Two in real life. Yeah, I, mean, I guess that probably too, but it probably didn't have the frame rate that this game had. Uh, possibly, I I haven't played Black Ops either, so I couldn't tell you. But I mean, like the the lighting and all of that stuff looks uh, really good. Like it, it does the job. So if the textures are not uh, the best ever, or the amount of polygons is not the highest ever, it's, it still looks uh, suitably creepy, I guess. <clears throat> I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. I'm just following waypoints, to be honest. Like, is is it not the same mission that you played? Uh, oh, it is. But it's it's been a while since I played this game, actually, because I played it when it first came out. Right. Uh, oh, this is a zombie pal. Let's see if we can avoid that one. Because then um, one of the problems is if you start hitting one of them. Uh, it may start to yell, make noise, and then his draw friends... over more zombies. Yes, exactly. Yeah. His friends come over, and it's a zombie party. Mm. There's a mud hole nearby. So now I'm I'm tapping on the gamepad to uh, lift the um, so called the manhole cover. I I have to say I I like it when a game tries to use touch and, and stuff just for minor things like that, mm -hmm. uh, that looks really silly. You were yes. just, you're tapping the screen just so you can lift up the yeah. manhole. It, it doesn't feel intuitive, like it doesn't feel natural. I mean, at least, uh, spinning it doesn't make sense, but at least I feel spinning would have been better than just tapping. Yeah, no, I agree. You should look at your Wii U gamepad. Right, I'm pinging uh, on the gamepad. I have this radar, but I have to press a button, and then this wave is sent out, and I can see uh, red dots on my map. And those are zombies, obviously. Now you're only picking up on the gamepad. You're only seeing a dot for the standing zombie, not the crawling legless zombie. Uh, Whoa! Actually, is this it? Oh, what the? Is this it? It's not gonna happen. Now look at your backpack, Chris. Look in your backpack. No, no, don't worry about the zombie. Look in your backpack. I did not see this guy coming. Honestly, I would may have heard him if the sound was on. Uh huh. Okay, so we have an excuse. Right. Yeah. Oh. Let's see if we can loot that. No. That was exciting. Yes. Uh, what's my health? Oh, I'm still in your backpack. No, I got your back, bro. Don't worry, I got your back. Right. I don't trust you, Mike. <laughs> Still trying to win my bet. Um, so yeah, I should always look out for um, the quote-unquote dead bodies. Finish it. Just like in the dead space, I always take care to finish off the like, yeah, supposedly dead bodies. Make sure that we really dead. Oh, that was a close one. If they grab you, it's it's game over. You can't even fight them off. Um, well, later on you get this um, uh, syringe, and you can fill it with a certain anti-zombie serum. And if they grab you, you can use it automatically. And then they so it's, die. It's a, it's a one-time push-off. Yes, exactly. It's kind of similar to in Resident Evil, you have these... Um, like night blades or Yes, or exactly. Like the yeah. knives that Jill had. Yeah, I remember that. And the tasers. Shit! It was rigged to the alarm! Yeah, I'm kind of screwed right now. So it's going to be zombies. Now, well, do any of them run? Uh, I mean, I see, I see some of these are... They're not necessarily uh, original Dawn of the Dead. Night of the Dead, slow walking. They're, they've got yeah. a little bit of a speed, but do you ever get 28 days later zombies? Um, yeah, I 
think there are some runners actually, but they're never really fast because it's kind of a slow paced game, uh, especially when you look at the combat. It's, it's, it's all very deliberate, you know, the hacking makes uh, quite a while. So, so the zombies are not. Now, when you say hacking, do you mean as in hacking a body or smash. hacking into a computer? Well, that too, but I was more talking about the uh, smashing of the cricket bat. Right. Let's root in here, it's nice. Nope, no zombies behind you. Some okay, so we're in a supermarket what time is right it? now. What time is it? Yeah, there's a clock behind you. Is it zombie o'clock? Yeah. I think it's time to get that out. Mm -hmm. Let's put a hammer. So with the hammer I can um, undo some of the barricades, like this one. I'm tapping the screen again to unlock the barricade. I mean, it is a hammer. That one makes a little more sense. Yeah. I guess. So, hold back there. It's a little weird. It looks that you're split. Okay, so here, here's something that's kind of bugging me a little bit. Mm -hmm. You're a person. You're not wearing glasses or anything, as I can see right here. Mm -hmm. um, but they're doing these visual effects like it's a camera of some sort, like blood. And right. if you look here at the bottom, yeah. you see all the dust and dirt uh -huh. that you would see on the, the camera lens, a dirty camera lens. Yeah, I agree. It's a, um, so, I mean, it, it's a choice. I mean, they're, I'm sure they're saying, oh, you know, it's your screen. It just it gives atmosphere, I guess. But. Yeah, no, uh, that's, that's exactly what I think it's... Um, it may not make the most sense, but I think it's the trick that Metroid Prime uses as well. Of course, it makes more sense in that game. Yeah, because she has a visor in front of her face. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, I, I think they just wanted to uh, use the same trick. Now, is there a reason you bring up Metroid? Uh, not Metroid. Um, yeah, Metroid. Is there a reason you bring up Metroid? I mean, that's not made by Ubisoft, it's not the same developers, right? No, no, it's just one of those games where I remember... Um, the effect. Yes, when I played it. You know, when you shoot a, shoot the little aliens, they, their blood splatter uh, drips down your screen. Right. That was a really cool moment. And I, and I think, I believe, it was, at least for me, it was the first time I ever saw something like that used in a first-person video game. Uh, right now we're doing... Alright, we're hacking the CCTV junction box, uh, which unlocks part of the map, um, or at least makes it visible for me on the game pad. Yeah, now you damn anti-Big Brother guys are really glad the CCTV is there, aren't you? Yeah. So, saves your life. You're welcome, big brother, or thank you, big brother, or whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. We got lost in that. <laughs> uh, oh, I hope we didn't slip here. Some oh, some graphics jumps. Yeah. Can you steal the record player? Steal the record player. Smash it. Well, the first time I saw this was really jump scare moment. <laughs> Apparently you scared him that he jumped back too. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird if you fight zombies on the stairs and they jump up. And they really end the So you can hear our survivor getting uh, really into it. Juice. Let's get some juice. It's a healthy zombie. Sorry? It was a healthy zombie. Yeah. Carries his juice. Okay, let's get that out of here. Oh, so these zombies are really bad. The what, one, what? The one I was yelling, because I'm... Um, is he lightning? Is this a lightning zombie? Is this an elemental zombie? It's just... Um, 
The thing is, he yells so loudly, he's attracting other zombies. Oh, so the, that lightning effect is just so we know that he's being loud? Yes, he's loud. So even though there is audio and we can hear him yelling, we're given a visual cue that he is loud. Yes, exactly. In case you have the sound off, I can hear right now. But I can still hear him. Yeah. Oh, shit. I mean, you can't keep running forever. You can only do short dashes. But I've, I've been running a lot, so now I can run on it. Get out of there! There we go. Whew. I'm trying to do that thing when people yell on the computer. <laughs> Look behind you! Only people in the US do that, I think. Yes. Actually, that's not true. I, people in the Netherlands do it. Really? When I went to uh, the second or third uh, Pirates. Oh, really? It was, uh, <laughs> it was, well, maybe people aren't yelling at the screen, but they're certainly talking to the whole movie. <laughs> I, the only time I heard anyone really say something, um, I went to see I Am Legend, and there's this scene where um, the dog runs into a building and it's really dark there and it's this it's this really intense scene and will smith goes after him i think but it's really creepy because it's it's pitch dark and you hear the zombies so it was really scary <laughs> and it was really quiet and suddenly i heard someone say oh my god oh my god but it was in Germany, so it was like, oh my god. <laughs> but he said it in English. No, 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 it was in German. Oh. That was really funny. Uh, it should have been there. You had to be the bra. It was awesome. So, yeah, this is gonna suck. I'm probably gonna die here because zombies are attacking the safe place right now. Uh, I have no health. My health is at less than a half. Less than half of the health box. I don't have any health packs. Zombies are coming from every side. So, yeah. Make sure you don't hit me. Yeah, I should finish that. Yeah, but if you finish the neck, I would have That's true. There's no other room you can go and shut the door? Or um, use it as a choke point? Um, well, no, there's, except for this door. Yes. Yeah, this is what happens. YOLO!